In older days, people used to manually pack the items in the boxes and ship them across the world. But to meet the increasing demand of the product, industries shift to automation solutions. Box packaging is one of the most common as well as an essential part in these automation techniques. So let us now see how this packaging mechanism is being built. This mechanism over here is built using simple science and mathematic concepts. There are three different stages which are clapped together to build such a big mechanism. The first stage is the mechanism which loads the ball into the box. In the second stage, the flaps of the box gets glued before they are closed. And the third stage includes the stamp and the delivery section. Now when we focus on the first stage, you will find a quick return mechanism is being used to push an individual ball into a box. In this mechanism, the circular motion is being converted into reciprocating motion. The design of this mechanism specializes in vector calculus and the physical aspects of kinematics for the study of motion without the effects of forces. A box is placed on the conveyor belt and the sensor waits for a certain amount of time in which the quick mechanism arm pushes the ball into the box. Once the time of waiting is finished, the conveyor starts rotating. When the box is being carried ahead on the belt, the two guys which are present over here in the mechanism helps the flap of the box to fold and also to get glued at the same time. As we know, the term force always contains two objects. If you see here, it is well explained in this mechanism. The flap of the box is applying a certain amount of force on the surface of the wheel and the wheel in turn rotates and thereby letting the box to pass through it and at the same time it applies a certain amount of force or pressure on its flap due to which the flap is getting closed before it gets sent to the third stage. Now in this third stage the box arrives on a cart. There are two sensors one is present on the cart and the one is present on the tower of the mechanism. The sensor which is present on the tower detects the presence of the box and activates the stamping action. Now this stamping action includes a simple pulley mechanism where the direction of force is transferred from one direction to other direction. Once the timing is finished, the cart moves ahead to store the box in different locations. Through these simple concepts of science and mathematics, one can use robots to build such mechanisms and provide the best automation solutions for the industries. Make your child ready for the future. Join the Robux community today.